Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Java interview questions. That is, can we overload main method? The answer is yes, we can overload the main method, but we cannot call them. Even though you create lot of overloaded main methods inside a class, but ultimately you cannot call them. There is no use of creating the overloaded methods, even though the answer is yes, but there is no use in creating the overloaded methods because we cannot call them or invoke them. Let me practically demonstrate this for you. First, I'll show you that no error will come by overloading the main method, okay, first part. After that, I'll show you there is no use because we cannot call the overloaded methods anyhow, okay. So first I'll just go to Eclipse ID and uh, here I'll create a new, just create a new uh, class. I'll just simply say overloading main demo. Okay, like this I'll just create a name, just some random name for the class. Click on finish. Class will be created in a while. Inside this class, I'll create a main method. That is, uh, I'll just type main and control space in Eclipse ID, it will create the main method. Okay. So this is the main method, guys. I'll just print out system.out.println inside main method. Okay. Now, I'll create, it, I'll create some overloaded uh, main methods, okay? public, static, void, public, static, void, your same name I'll give to create the overloaded methods, I'll create a same name, I'll just say int a, okay, here, inside the same class, we have the main method, another main method having the same name, name, right, this is the overloaded method of this main method, okay, this is the actual main method that we generally write, and for this actual main method, I'm going to create another main method, which is an overloaded main method. Okay. Theoretically, we can overload, right? Uh, overload the main method. I'm not getting any compiler errors, etc. System.out.println. I'll just say inside overloaded, overloaded main method. Okay. And I'll try to print the value of this A also here, plus A. I can create one more overloaded method, public static. Uh, void main okay i'll just say double b and i'll simply write down system dot out dot print dln inside second inside second overloaded main method plus b i'll say plus b and so on okay main method another main method another main method these are overloaded main methods guys okay these are overloaded main methods Okay, so when I run this code, when I run this code, only this method will get executed, guys. Okay, this methods won't get executed. The main method having string of args will be executed. Okay, this is a general main method, right? The overloaded methods will not get executed. Right click, run as Java application. JVM will only call this main method from outside. You see, inside main method, inside main method. That means this particular main method got executed. What about the other main methods? which are overloaded main methods, JVM will not invoke them guys, okay? JVM won't invoke them. Even though these are overloaded main methods, they will not be called by JVM. Who will call the main methods generally in real time when you run the programs? JVM. But JVM is not going to run the other overloaded main methods. Fine. No matter what, this main method only will be called. The overloaded main methods won't be called. There is no use of, uh, you know, creating the overloaded main methods and also i'll show you in another way i'll copy this code i'll copy this code uh, and then i'll just create a file here right click new text document inside the text document i'll create a, i'll just uh, you know paste the code okay overloading main demo is the name right i'll just give that Simply say dot Java here. Yes, change it. Right click, again open and see whether the code is there or not. 
the Java file. Okay, so the code went off somehow. I'll do one thing. I'll just uh, copy this and paste it here. Okay, save this. Fine, the file has been created. Now I want to XEMD. Or else I'll do one thing, guys. I'll just freshly create something here. Uh, that is a uh, right click new text document. I'll go inside the text document and write the code. Public class class name. I'll just give the class name as uh, class one. Inside this class, I'm going to create the main method public static void main string of arcs. Okay. Now inside this, I'm going to write a print statement saying system dot out dot print ln system dot out dot print ln inside main method. Okay, inside main method. I'll save this. Once I save that, go back here. I have to save it in a different way, guys. Again, open. Just save this as a Java file. Right click save as at the same location. Class one, right? Class one dot Java all files save. Okay, the file got saved. This text document you can delete. Okay, this is the Java file we created with that code. If you open that, you will find the code, guys. You'll get the code. Open that, you will get this code. Okay, this is a normal code. Okay, so whenever you call this, uh, whenever you, you know, run this code inside main method, text should be printed. Okay, so how to run the code first? I have to compile this. For compiling this, I will type cmd. The command prompt will open at the location where the Java file is available. And here I will say, I'll use the command Java C and say class one extension is dot Java. Run it. When you run it, the compiling is done and a dot class file has been created. The Java class file has been created, right? Java C class one dot Java. Okay. And uh, after that, I need to do what? I need to run this code. Okay, how to run Java class one? Java class one, I will say. Okay, Java class one and press enter. You see, inside main method got printed. Whatever the code that I have written is running, right? I'll update this. I'll update the logic here. Instead of print statement, I'll write something like this. For int i is equal to zero i less than args dot length, this uh, array dot length, okay? Because I can pass as many number of arguments from the command line, right? i plus plus, ending of the for loop, and inside this for loop, I write the code like this. System dot out dot print ln arcs of I, okay, arcs of I. Save this. So how many arguments I will pass, right? That arguments will be printed here, okay? So I'll save this Java file. Now I'll delete this class file and again compile this code. Java C, class one. Got created. Now I will run it. Java class one. I didn't pass anything. I didn't pass anything, so nothing got printed here. What if I pass something? Class Java class one. I'll give details like you know, Arun, Varun, Tarun. Like this, I'll give some details and present them. You see, this Arun, Varun, Tarun got be or pass it to this. Okay, Arun, Varun, Tarun that I am passing from the command line were passed to this string of arcs, this string array. And uh, we have iterated through the string array and we have printed each and everything that we passed from the command line. So what if I create one more thing? And one more main method, public static void main of int a. Okay. So system dot out dot print ln. System dot out dot print ln value of a is plus a. I'll write this, save this. 
now the code is updated i have saved it now i want to call this particular main method overloaded main method i want to call from the command line so for that reason first i have to compile it java c compile it once compiling is done then i would write java class 1 and i would like to pass only 9 this time we think that this 9 will this 9 will go inside okay we think that java will call this overloaded main method because from the command line the main method having this uh, integer a will be called you may think but that is not going to happen guys okay when you say java class 9 it should print value of a is 9 should be printed but it will not happen guys this overloaded method cannot be called by java i told you right in java we can create overloaded methods but this cannot be called by via java or jvm jvm will still call the same method same initial original main method will be called and 9 will be passed to this argument as spring okay 9 will be passed to the argument as spring and uh, this for loop will print you the 9 number 9 as a spring format it will print okay but here value of a is 9 won't be printed guys okay value of uh, a is 9 won't be printed rather simple 9 will be printed you see just 9 got printed that means 9 went into the first main method first main method has been called guys okay not the second one overloaded methods cannot be called this 9 is passed to string of ops rather than int of a okay in the main method overloaded main method is not called it that's the problem okay in java overloaded methods can be created for uh, main method overloaded main method can be created but overloaded main method cannot be called okay from anywhere else so there is no use in java of creating such kind of overloaded methods because if you still want to call this overloaded method okay for example if this main method uh, when you when you run this code only main method is running right if you still want to call this overloaded methods what you have to do is this main method actual main method need to call this overloaded methods like this main of like a normal method okay? main of nine means inside overloaded method nine will be called okay main of uh, six point five if i say 6.5 will be passed to this double and inside second overloaded method 6.5 will be printed okay like that so here we have to call the methods overloaded methods from the main method then only they will be running otherwise they cannot be directly invoked or directly called okay only the main method original main method can call this overloaded methods but uh, but there is no use of this right if you are unable to call this overloaded methods directly what is the use of creating them okay there is no using java of creating this overloaded uh, methods for main so so if someone asks you like uh, can we create overloaded methods for main and all you can say that yes we can create but uh, they cannot be invoked or called directly okay so hope guys so you got the answer for this question that is can we overload it, overload main method yes we can overload main method we will not get any compiler error but we cannot invoke them we cannot call them so with practical demonstration have answered this question for you. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.